time. Shares of industrial technology giant Siemens falling around 6% since reporting earnings earlier this month. But investors are focusing on the weakness in the digital ind industries sector, which includes the automation business. The company cutting the sector's revenue forecast, projecting it will fall 4 to 8% year over year in 2024. But joining us here on set is Siemens CEO Roland Bush. Roland, it's so great to have you here. Um, and that is where I really want to start. The... Uh, the fact that you are an industrial tech company, on the one hand, you're benefiting from, and we saw this in your most recent earnings too, you're benefiting from this AI infrastructure build out, particularly here stateside. On the other hand, you are seeing some headwinds, at least in recent months, uh, on the automation side. Walk me through it. Well, I mean, the weakness in automation comes from China. Uh, this is a market which is really picking up slowly. And uh, you have to have in mind that we are comparing ourselves with an all year high prior year. So there's also really a boost and overstocking, so to speak. We are eating now into the stock as we go, and this comes back. At the same time, we have a huge demand for any kind of digitalization, but also automation, but also um, electrification. So our smart infrastructure business is growing very well, also in the United States, uh, more than 12% in the quarter. So therefore, we see a strong momentum for automation, digitalization, but also electrification and sustainability. And that's what we are serving. Have you had to think differently or invest differently for this generative AI era when we are talking about automation? We are talking about digitized manufacturing and factories of the future. Maybe we're working with uh, large language models in AI for many, many years. Um, the, the, the thing that large language models are now really boosted by opening up to the, to the public and then you see a strong run is really spilling over to the industry. What we do is we have these large language models really hitting the ground in the industrial space. Um, I'll give you one example, a couple of examples. Um, together with Microsoft, we develop a co-pilot which allows shop floor workers to program robots with a natural language. Um, we're using AWS Bedrock large language models in order to really bring it to our simulation and, and low-code software platform. So or we built together with NVIDIA, we built the industrial metaverse, which is really a digital twin physics-based, which you can optimize in the digital world and then you build it driving all the productivity, shortening cycle times, and eventually also saving resources. How are you handling the competitive risks? Because whenever there's a sea change in technology, new technology coming in, somebody's trying to eat your market Absolutely. share, right? And you've gotten pieces of uh, the industrial equipment arena that are getting networked that haven't been networked in the past. We're going to talk a little more about that later. So what's your maybe... Uh, aggressive defense strategy. Well, <laughs> it's more offense. <laughs> so, I mean, number one is um, obviously we are spending more R in R&D than our, our peers in the market, which is 8% uh, of revenue, 6.5 billion, number one. This is not good enough. You need so many technologies. We are building a very strong ecosystem, which is unique. And we are talking about the big tech companies, but also smaller ones. We are integrating this technology faster than anybody else. And then you have another element. I mean, we are here since more than 176 years. Our customer relationship and our domain know-how helps us really to talk customer language and bringing technology on the shop floor because we know how to do that. So, I mean, you have, you, you service so many different industries across so many different parts of the world. A more macro question for you. What are yeah. you seeing in terms of the economic landscape? Is inflation abating? Are supply chain challenges abating? What's happening in real time? So um, if it comes to inflation, obviously it's a, it's a question of, of interest rates, but at the same time, I do believe we do have a embedded inflation in our system. Why that? Number one is we have an aging society and we have less and less labor on the market. Labor prices is increasing, number one. Number two, the trend to go green in our energy system is basically pulling investments forward, which is embedded inflation. Resilience increase, if you really relocate manufacturing along the globe, First and foremost, this increases your price because the world was optimized to offshore and, and arbitrage of low labor, but now you pull it back. If, and the point is, how can you fight it? It's technology. If you bring technology to the space that you take less labor and make technology do the trick and the work, then you can still manufacture with a low lot size with competitive costs. So technology is the answer. But I do believe for a while we see we have an embedded inflation in our system. Yeah, and, and, and just sticking with technology for a moment, we've been talking about across the industrial landscape more broadly what I will call portfolio simplification. Um, Siemens has been very engaged in that in recent years as well, whether it's the spinoff of health in years, whether it's the energy business, uh, whether it's an, another sale you did yes. recently as well. Do you feel comfortable with your portfolio here? 
We have a very strong portfolio, which is geared really for the, what we call the mega trends, aging societies, urbanization, globalization, digitalization. Um, and, uh, and what we try now is that we, we build a technology platform which scales. This is the basic idea of all the big tech companies that you say, what is a kind of a technology where you can bound, build foundation models, package it so we can productize this for different applications. The Religionix is a platform which we drive the productivity of our service with trains. We can maintain and run our trains with availability of almost 100%. The very same software which you, which we see there drives the optical inspection of quality in welding or for stamping robots. So rolling in technology, rolling in uh, large language models, technologies, automation technologies into various markets is a strength of ours and we can leverage that strength towards our partners, suppliers, but also for our customers.